Hey, how's it going, you two? This is the A to the R to the M arm. Um, this is the first of a series of videos I'm going to start publishing based on everything I like, including comic books, video games, um, collectibles like action figures and beast wars, um, TV shows, certain haul videos for things I like to pick up, such as watches, um, hats like that, um, some health and fitness, um, random blog roundups, and you know anything that just happens to be on my mind. So. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, keep it clean, keep it respectful, and you know, just look forward to having a good time. Peace. As you can see, I picked up Beast Wars Man Terror. This is an action figure that I've been looking for for quite some time, over 10 years actually. Back when I started collecting Beast Wars in high school, um, I picked up a pretty hefty collection and I'm going to start showing you guys later on but this one I passed up when it was brand new back in the early 2000s and I've searched for it for years um, I've seen it in random places at ridiculous prices but then you know as, as I got older I really wanted to get this one again so I found it at a place called Fat Collectibles in Anaheim California I like this one in particularly because it's a bug themed Beast Wars. It has wings, it has um, saw blades. It comes out of his pincers and the Supreme Mantis, which is one of my favorite insects. Um, I like the box art. You know, just standard blister packing. Some cool Beast Wars artwork on here. Man Terror. As you can see, I picked it up for 25 bucks. The back of the box. You can see the other figures in the hero in the series. Uh, the Maximals. The Predacons. I just happen to not have any one of these. They have Tigatron right here, but Tigatron is essentially a Cheetah or repaint. Um, Jetstorm is one I still have to pick up. Um, I'll have to seek him out. Black Arachnia. But um, in Grimlock is also a repaint of Dinobot. So, as you can see right here, they have a little character card of Manterra with his character specs. Let's see. Okay. See his strength, intelligence. Speed, endurance, rank, courage, firepower, and skill. His function as a Predacon is a quick attack specialist. It's amazing. This character has high skill level coming in at 10, but his endurance is at 3. So I really don't want to get too much into the actual character specs because you know you can see more of that in the comic books and any TV shows you know they have with this character featured in it. But I'm more interested in reviewing the character, so you know I'm gonna go on a quick take a little hide of this here. I'm gonna take it out of the package and we're gonna look at some of the details in this character. Okay, and I'm back. I've taken Manter out of his package. Um this has always been my favorite Beast Wars figure for a number of reasons and personal reasons. You know, one, he's one of the best insects out there. The Praying Mantis, patient and deadly. Two, he's green. Green's one of my favorite colors. Um, and he's a bug thing Predacon. And I've always thought the bug thing Beast Wars were the best made Transformers. You know, not only because they're almost all terrain because they usually have wings. And, you know, obviously they can walk when they're transformed or in their bug mode, but they always have the coolest um, bells and whistles. You know, for instance, things like this: the saw blade that pops out of his pincer. So first, I'm just going to go over, you know, some of the paint job. They did a really good paint job on this. You know, really fine details right here. You know, not not smudgy, not cheap looking. Uh, they used a different color plastic for this pincer launcher than the rest of the figure. Kind of a softer, translucent green. Um, 
the eyes, the stripes. You know they use the go burnt dark orangey color. Not quite red, not quite orange. And this translucent plastic, you know, I'm all for bells and whistles. And usually when they you add a translucent feature to you know certain action figures and collectibles, I'm, I'm usually a sucker for that stuff too. So his wings, you know, translucent purple. You can see some of the, the insect vein design carved in there. Insect legs, translucent purple. His antenna. All right, and also the saw blades within the pincers. This is a quite well articulated um, figure in both beast and um, robot mode. There's articulation right here at the wrist, articulation at the elbow, ball joint at the shoulder. There's also shoulder rotation. Um, the head moves up and down. The antenna go back and forth in one piece. Uh, ball joint for the wings and the legs are on separate ball joints and then there's one little bit of articulation and I thought it was pretty clever I don't see anybody really using this but it's mouth <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do a live transformation of this figure All right, first you start by folding this torso legs down and back up you pull out the feet Pull out the feet support. Then you push this insect head up to the waist as it exposes this robot head. Now this is a little tricky part, his chest unit. The chest unit are the insect legs, so you gotta make sure you keep the shoulders down. And fold that inwards. I usually just take the insect legs and just put them back like this. Right, get on camera. Fold that. You know, sort of like a you know like a cool chest chest armor type effect right there. You know? you know, you pull this pincers back, his um antenna back up. Then the shoulder folds up sideways, locks in place. There you go. And then he uses the same arms in robot mode as he did in insect mode. You know, he has full access to his wings. And he stands quite well. You know, depending on how weak or strong the legs are on, on the one you bought. These pincers can tend to make it a little bit off balance, but he seems pretty balanced. He's fairly new to me. This is a badass looking figure. Crazy, you got a crazy little scowl on his face. The energon chip is hidden right here at the top of his head. You know, you, you rub it for body heat. You guys know how this work. You can see what his legion says. This is the Predacon, this is a bad guy. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the live action um, feature. You press on this plastic piece and this pincer. You see his buzz saw right here. It pops out. Do this without completely killing the figure. It's transformation. Okay, that was weak. Do it again. Damn. All right, there you go. I won't be doing that too often. So, there you go. A little interesting story about this figure. I wanted this figure for 10 years. I didn't get him when he was brand new in the, in the um, you know, store back back in the days when they used to sell these in Target and Kmart. Pass it up for years. You just see it at the local malls. Pass it up some more. 10 years later, find fat collectibles in Anaheim. Get it for 25 bucks when I could have really got it for 6 bucks back in the day. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. I appreciate it more now than I would have back then. You know what? I'm just going to keep collecting certain Beast Wars that I don't have in my current collection. Um, I'm going to do a retro review of some of the ones I already have, as well as new ones I'll be acquiring throughout the duration of these videos. 
And there you have it. Manter, Predacon, Mantis, Buzzsaw Blades. Um, thank you for looking at this review. Um, give me your thoughts and opinions on this robot, as well as any good recommendations. Um, any robots you have that you might want to share. Uh, anything else. Alright, peace.